we are learning a lot more about what went on behind the scenes at this year's big royal wedding. Thanks to a new book about Queen Elizabeth that is making headlines in London. It has an intimate look at the relationship between the Queen and Prince William and some surprising details on what was really happening that wedding day. ABC's Nick Watt has more from London. The wedding of the decade, and behind the scenes, it was Grandma pulling the strings. I wanted to decide what to wear for the wedding, William told the author of a new book called Our Queen. I was given a categorical no, you'll wear this. I knew perfectly well it was for the best, so you just do as you're told. And the Queen has a mean stare when she's upset. And the Queen was right. He looked dapper, and she cut him some slack on the official guest list, told him to rip it up. She said, start with your friends and go from there. Clearly her grandson is very, very important, and she saw this ultimately as his wedding day, um, but also that she was prepared to go against royal protocol. By the way, driving his dad's favourite car away from the palace, nervy William left the emergency brake on. There was so much cheering, no one could hear the grinding. William describes himself as the young bloke coming through, totally reliant on grandma's advice. But is he worried she works too hard? We do hint at taking some things off her, he says, but she won't have any of it. She's always enjoyed a very special relationship with William, and that is, that is largely down to the role that William will one day inherit. William's not rushing to take over. He's got a military career and loves living the quiet life with his wife. I try not to think about it, to be honest, he says. As I'm flying around in my helicopter, I try desperately hard not to think about it. That can wait until I'm a bit older. Now, George, my favourite gem from this book. Back in 1954, the Queen was filmed chasing her husband Philip out of a villa, throwing tennis sneakers and a tennis racket at him. Now, the cameraman who shot that film destroyed the film, and as a reward, he was given by the palace a beer and a sandwich. I would have killed, literally killed, to see that happen. Well, not literally, but I, but I get what you're saying, Nick. But boy, boy imagine, <laughs> I don't what, know. <laughs> imagine what that cameraman would charge today. Okay, Nick Watt, thanks very much.